What's up, family? Andre here. On today's episode, we are going to dive into the almighty credit score. Many people don't understand exactly what entails and what calculates the credit score. So on today's episode, we're going to take a deep dive into what is the credit score, what actually is calculated for the credit score, and what factors can help you improve your credit score. But before we get started, you know the drill. Please don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscriber button, as well as the bell next to it to get updated weekly content. The almighty credit score. There are not too many things in your financial life that are not touched by your credit score. From renting an apartment, to purchasing a home, to purchasing a car, are all affected by the credit score. But what many people don't understand, number one, is not only their credit score, but many of the factors that go into calculating the credit score. But first, let's understand what is the credit score. A credit score is a number between 300 and 850 that depicts a consumer's credit worthiness. The higher the number, the better the consumer looks to a potential list of lenders. A credit score is based upon credit history, number of open accounts, total levels of debt, repayment history, and other factors. Lenders will use the credit score to measure the probability that an individual will be able to repay their debts in a timely fashion. There is significant history with the credit score model. The credit score model was created by the Fair Isaac Corporation, otherwise known as FICO, and it is used by most financial institutions. While there are a number of financial credit models that are in existence, the FICO model is by far the one that is most extensively used by most financial institutions. Let's examine how credit scores work. A credit score can have a significant impact on your financial life. It determines whether lenders will be able to offer you an extension of credit. Typically, borrowers that have a credit score below a 640 are classified as subprime borrowers. Lending institutions will typically charge those subprime borrowers subprime interest rates. Subprime interest rates are interest rates that are significantly higher than the prime interest rate that is typically offered to those borrowers or consumers that have an excellent credit score. The reason why they are offering subprime interest rates to subprime borrowers is based upon the risks that they carry based upon their lower credit score. In addition to a higher interest rate, they may offer shorter repayment terms and may require a co-signer, which may be an additional borrower that has more credit worthiness as a part of any financial terms in order to extend that credit to that borrower. Conversely, someone with a credit score of 700 or higher is generally offered an interest rate closer to the prime interest rate which is based upon their significantly higher credit score, which means over the life of the repayment of their financing, whether that is a mortgage loan or a car loan, they will pay significantly lower interest. So the cost of their financing is significantly lower than someone with a much lower credit score. While every creditor or lender use a variation of scores to determine the credit worthiness of every borrower. In general, the average FICO score are in these ranges. Excellent is from 800 to 850. Very good is from 740 to 799. Good is from 670 to 739. Fair is from 580 to 669. And poor is from 300 to 579. Your credit score, which is a statistical analysis of your credit worthiness, can affect the amount of credit that you may be able to borrow as well as the amount of costs that are associated with it. An individual credit score can determine the size of an initial deposit that may be required when renting an apartment, trying to secure utilities for a home or an apartment, purchasing a cell phone, or even renting a car. And the review of your credit score 
doesn't just stop at the initial part of the application. Lenders and financial institutions regularly continue to review credit scores well into the process even after a final decision has been made to determine whether interest rates should change, should they be adjusted, both positively and negatively, even after the borrower has secured financing and has been locked in to financial terms. Let's look at the factors that can affect your credit score. There are three major credit bureaus in the United States, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. These are the three major credit bureaus that report, update, and store consumer credit histories. While there are some subtle differences between those three major credit bureaus in the United States, all three of those bureaus look at five major factors that can affect your credit score. And those five factors are your payment history, the total amount owed, length of your credit history, types of credit, and new credit. Payment history accounts for 35% of your score and shows whether you pay your obligations on time. The total amount owed takes up 30% of the credit score and it shows the amount of credit that is available for the individual to be able to use, otherwise known as credit utilization. Length of credit history counts for 15% with longer credit histories being less risky because it shows a more consistent payment history over a period of time. The type of credit accounts for 10% of the credit score. And this can be a mixture of the type of credit that an individual utilizes, which can include mortgage, car loan, as well as credit cards. New credit accounts for 10%. This part of the credit score is affected by any new accounts that are being added to the credit history, as well as any new inquiries or applications that also will affect the credit score. What are some ways you can improve your credit score? Paying your bills on time. This will be able to impact your payment history. Paying your bills on time for at least six months will be able to have a noticeable impact on your payment history, which will drive up your credit score. Increasing credit lines. If you have accounts that are in good standing, call and inquire about increasing your credit line. This will help impact credit utilization which makes up more than a third of your credit score. But do not spend the increase in your credit limit. The idea is that you want to increase the separation of what is available versus what you have spent. Contrary to popular belief, do not close any credit accounts or credit card accounts. This will have a negative impact on your credit score. It drives down your credit utilization. The idea is that you want to stop spending those accounts, but do not close them because it has a negative effect on your score. Credit utilization makes up more than a third of your credit score. If you close them, it now closes available credit that now impacts your score. You want to pay down those balances, but keep those cards open, which then drives up your score because it now makes more available credit available to you. Take time to examine your credit report on a regular basis to ensure that there is accurate and updated information on your credit report and to be able to correct any misinformation or errors that are on your credit report. You may be able to uh, correct any information, but you also may be able to engage any credit repair agencies or organizations that can help assist you in being able to adjudicate or be able to remove misinformation or errors that are on your credit report, which automatically can affect and drive up your credit score. Your credit score is the one number that can cost or save you a lot of money over your lifetime. An excellent score can land you lower interest rates, meaning you will pay lower costs for any type of credit that you want to take out. But it is all up to you as the borrower and consumer to maintain and make sure that your credit remains strong, that you can take advantage of any borrowing opportunities that go along with maintaining a strong credit score. What are the key takeaways? A credit score plays a key role in a lender's decision to offer credit. The FICO scoring system is predominantly used by most financial institutions in their decisions to offer credit. 
Factors in credit score include credit history, repayment history, types of loans, and total debt. Over 60% of the credit score is made up of payment history and credit utilization. And that is it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of all of the factors that go into the credit score and being able to positively affect your credit score. But before you go, please don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscriber button as well as the bell next to it to get updated weekly content. Thank you for tuning in.